a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Jennifer Hudson Jennifer Kate Hudson is an American singer, actress and spokesperson. She rose to fame in 2004 as a finalist on the third season of American Idol, coming in seventh place. As an actress, she made her film debut portraying Effie White in Dreamgirls, for which she gained worldwide acclaim, and won an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, a BAFTA Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Supporting Actress. She also appeared in Sex and the City, The Secret Life of Bees, and Black Nativity. She has made numerous television appearances, including guest roles on Smash, Empire, and Inside Amy Schumer. In 2015, she made her Broadway debut in the role of Shug Avery in the revival of The Color Purple. As a singer, Hudson has released three studio albums. Her debut album Jennifer Hudson, released in 2008, debuted at number two on the Billboard 200, and was certified gold by the RIAA, with sales exceeding a million copies worldwide. The record was nominated for four Grammy Awards, winning the 2009 Grammy Award for Best R&B Album. Her second album I Remember Me, released in 2011, also debuted at number two on the Billboard 200, and was certified gold by the RIAA. Her third and most recent album Jay Hunt peaked in the top 10 and featured the Grammy-nominated track, It's Your World. She also became the principal singer of the Color Purple musical album, which earned her the 2017 Grammy Award, for Best Musical Theatre Album. In October 2008, Hudson stepped out of the public eye for three months after her mother, brother, and nephew were killed in a shooting. She resumed her public appearances in 2009 with high-profile performances at Super Bowl's Lee the Grammy Awards, American Idol, and the Oprah Winfrey Show. Hudson has been described as a friend of former President Barack Obama, who invited her to appear with him at a fundraiser in Beverly Hills during his first term in May 2009. She also performed at the White House at the Celebration of Music from the Civil Rights Movement event. In 2013, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2016, Hudson was announced as a coach on the 2017 series of The Voice UK, where she became the first female coach to win. The following year, Hudson was announced as a coach on the 13th season of the US version of The Voice. On January 27, 2018, Clive Davis, who signed Hudson, and promoted her as the new Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin following her departure from American Idol disclosed that Hudson had been handpicked by Franklin to portray her in an upcoming biopic. Early Life Hudson was born on September 12, 1981 in Chicago, Illinois. She is the third and youngest child of Darnell Donison and Samuel Simpson. She was raised as a Baptist in Englewood and attended Dunbar Vocational High School, from which she graduated in 1999. She cites Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, and Patti LaBelle as her overall biggest influences and inspiration. At age seven she got her start in performing by singing with the church choir and doing community theater with the help of her late maternal grandmother, Julia. She enrolled at Langston University, but she left after a semester due to homesickness and unhappiness with the weather, and registered at Kennedy King College. In January 2002, Hudson signed her first recording contract with Righteous Records a Chicago-based independent record label. She was released from her five-year contract with Righteous Records so that she could appear on American Idol in 2004. 2004-05, American Idol Hudson auditioned for the third season of American Idol in Atlanta commenting that she had been singing on Disney Cruise Lines for the past few months, and contestant judge Randy Jackson said, we're expecting more than a cruise ship performance from you. Hudson received the highest number of votes in the top nine after her performance of Elton John's Circle of Life on April 6, 2004, but two weeks later was eliminated during the top seven show after performing Barry Manilow's Weekend in New England. The bottom three consisting of three African-American women led to controversy. In May 2009, MTV listed Hudson as the sixth greatest American Idol and noted her exit was the most shocking of all time. In May 2010, 
The Los Angeles Times claimed Hudson to be the third greatest idol contestant in the history of the show, placing behind season one winner Kelly Clarkson and season four winner Carrie Underwood. 2006-07, Dreamgirls and Breakthrough In one of her first appearances on a record, Hudson is featured in a duet, The Future Ain't What It Used To Be. On Meatloaf Spat Out of Hell 3, The Monster Is Loose. In September 2006, Hudson performed the song, Over It, Live on Fox Chicago Morning News. In the interview she stated the song would be included on her debut album, to be released in early 2007. However, this was before she was signed to a record label. In November 2006, Hudson signed a record deal with Arista Records. On The Oprah Winfrey Show, Hudson announced plans to enter the studio in March 2007. Hudson said on The Tyra Banks Show, on February 23, 2007, that she just finished the first song for the album. Hudson also recorded a song she co-wrote with Bill Grainer and Earl Powell called, Stand Up, which was available for preview on her fan website. The track was produced by Chicago natives Powell and Herman Little III, who also arranged the song. The power ballad would later become available on a deluxe edition of Hudson's self-titled album as a bonus track. In November 2005, Hudson was cast in the role of Effie White for the film adaptation of the musical Dreamgirls, which also starred Jamie Foxx, Beyoncé Knowles and Eddie Murphy. The role, originally created in a Broadway performance by Jennifer Holliday, marked Hudson's debut screen performance. She won the role over hundreds of professional singers and actresses, including Fantasia Barrino. Filming of Dreamgirls began on January 9, 2006, and the film went into limited release on December 25, 2006, and national release on January 12, 2007. Hudson has won particular praise for her show-stopping on-screen rendition of the hit song, and I am telling you I'm not going, the signature song of the role, which had earlier been recorded and had already reached the status of musical standard, because of the definitive performance of Jennifer Holliday. The New York Observer described Hudson's performance of the song as, five mellifluous, malto vibrato minutes that have suddenly catapulted Ms. Hudson into the position of front-runner for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. Newsweek said that when moviegoers hear Hudson sing the song, she is going to raise goosebumps across the land. Variety magazine wrote that Hudson's performance calls to mind debuts like Barbara Streisand in Funny Girl or Betty Midler in The Rose, with a voice like the young Aretha. Hudson's version of, and I am telling you I'm not going, debuted at number 98 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the January 13, 2007, issue. The Dreamgirls track became Hudson's first top 10 hit on the Billboard Hot Adult R&B Airplay chart on February 24, 2007. Love You I Do was nominated for the 2007 Academy Award for Best Original Song and won the 2008 Grammy Award for Best Song Written for a Motion Picture, Television, or Other Visual Media. As Effie White, Hudson has garnered 29 awards from film critics as Best Supporting Actress and Breakthrough Performer of 2006. She won the Golden Globe Award as Best Actress in a Supporting Role. In addition, she has been named Best Supporting Actress by the Broadcast Film Critics Association and also by the Screen Actors Guild. After seeing Hudson's performance in Dreamgirls, Simon Cowell taped a congratulatory message to her, which aired on The Oprah Winfrey Show. With the March 2007 issue, Jennifer Hudson became the third African-American celebrity and the first African-American singer to grace the cover of Vogue magazine. On February 11, 2007, the 60th British Academy Film Awards were held in London, but Hudson was not there to accept her BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. The BAFTA Award went missing and Hudson did not receive her award until April 22, 2011, when it was presented to her on The Graham Norton Show. On February 25, 2007, she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the film. During her acceptance speech, Hudson said, Oh, my God, I have to just take this moment in. I cannot believe this, look what God can do. I didn't think I was going to win, if my grandmother was here to see me now. She was my biggest inspiration. She also concluded her speech by thanking Jennifer Holliday. Later in 2007, the mayor of her hometown, 
Chicago, Richard M. Daly, declared March 6 as Jennifer Hudson Day. She was invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences on June 18, along with 115 other individuals for 2007. Entertainment Weekly put her performance on its end of the decade, best of, list, saying, sure, Beyoncé's performance was great, and Eddie Murphy's was impressive. But there was really only one reason we all rushed to see 2006's Dreamgirls, Jennifer Hudson sold to the rafters rendition of the classic and I'm telling you I'm not going, when she sang You're Gonna Love Me, it wasn't just a lyric, it was a fact. 2008-09, Jennifer Hudson album, films and major appearances. In May 2008, Hudson appeared in the feature film Sex and the City as Louise, Carrie Bradshaw's assistant. Filming finished in December 2007, and the movie was released on May 30, 2008. In October 2008, Hudson made her third film appearance in The Secret Life of Bees as Rosaline, the mother figure of Lily Owens. Also starring in the film are fellow Oscar nominees Queen Latifah and Sophia Canedo, as well as Alicia Keys. The film opened on October 17, 2008, and grossed over $37 million at the box office. The film won two People's Choice Awards in January 2009 in the categories, Favorite Drama Movie and Favorite Independent Movie. The film also received nine Black Reel Awards nominations including three wins. Hudson was nominated for her performance in the film, but lost to Queen Latifah. The film also received eight nominations at the 2009 NAACP Image Awards, including a nomination for Hudson for her performance. In 2009, Hudson starred as Kathy Archenault in Fragments, a film based on the novel by Roy Fryerich, with Dakota Fanning and Forrest Whitaker. The name of the film was changed from Winged Creatures to Fragments. It was released on DVD on August 4, 2009. In 2010, Hudson started filming the biopic film Winnie Mandela based on the South African politician Winnie Mandela starring alongside Terence Howard and directed by Daryl J. Rudd. Andre Peterson and Rudd and Paul L. Johnson based the film's script on Anne-Marie Dupree's Bezidy Robb's biography, Winnie Mandela, A Life. The Creative Workers Union of South Africa have opposed this choice, stating they will push for a moratorium on the film if the casting is not reversed. Winnie Mandela has threatened legal action over this film, claiming she was not consulted about the film. Winnie Mandela was originally scheduled to be released in December 2011. The trailer was released in 2010. Image Entertainment released the film on September 6, 2013. In January 2008, Hudson returned to the studio to record new songs for her debut studio album. Her label was reportedly unhappy with the direction they were sending Hudson musically and decided it would be best to scrap the older songs and instead focus on new ones. Hudson worked with Ryan Dedder and Team Bland on a number of songs. Her debut single, Spotlight, was released on June 10, 2008 and became Hudson's first top 40 hit peaking at number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100, and became a top 20 hit in the United Kingdom and Turkey. Her debut studio album, Jennifer Hudson, was released on September 30, 2008, on Arista, and was written by Neo, who co-produced along with Stargate. Additional contributors on the album include Timberland, Missy Elliott, Robin Thicke, Harvey Mason Jr. Diane Warren, Earl Powell, and Christopher. Tricky, Stewart, among others. The album debuted at number two on the Billboard 200, with 217,000 copies in the US and opened to positive reviews. As of August 2009, the album has sold 739,000 copies in the US, receiving a gold certification for surpassing sales of 500,000. She has performed the song, All Dressed in Love, for the Sex, and the City soundtrack which was released on May 27, 2008. Hudson performed the national anthem at the 2008 Democratic National Convention. The album's second single was to be released in October 2008, and was originally set to be, My Heart, before, If This Isn't Love, was chosen as the official second single. After three of her family members were brutally murdered, the single was rescheduled for a January 2009 release. However, in January 2009, her label decided to postpone the release of the second single once more until 
choosing a February 2009 release date. After the release of, If This Isn't Love, the single eventually peaked at number 63 on the Billboard Hot 100, and number 37 on the UK Singles Chart. The third single was announced as, Pocketbook, featuring Ludacris in April 2009, for a June 2009 release. Despite speculation that the third single would be, My Heart, after it was cancelled as the second single. In May 2009, Pocketbook, was cancelled as the third single due to negative reception from fans and critics alike. The third single was then rescheduled as, Giving Myself, and was released on June 2, 2009, to the US. Her debut album garnered Hudson three nominations at the 2009 Grammy Awards, Best Female R&B Vocal Performance for, Spotlight, Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals for, I'm His Only Woman, with Fantasia Barrino, and Best R&B Album for Jennifer Hudson. She won the last of these and performed at the awards ceremony. In February 2009, Hudson made her first public appearance since the murders when she sang the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl's Lee. She toured the United States with Robin Thicke in 2009. In early May 2009, Hudson suffered throat fatigue and had to reschedule her May 16, 19, 2009 tour dates. She sang Will You Be There at the Michael Jackson Memorial Service in July 2009. Hudson recorded Neither One of Us originally, by Gladys Knight and the Pips, for American Idol Season 3, Greatest Soul Classics, the official American Idol album for the third season. She also performed the song, Easy to be Hard, on the actor's fun benefit recording of the musical Hair. And she is featured on Neo's second album, Because of You, on the track, Leaving Tonight. Hudson sang, Dancing a Catchy Rhythm, with Brooke White. Hudson performed a Christmas special in December 2009 called Jennifer Hudson, I'll Be Home for Christmas. During the special, she relived her childhood Christmases with musical performances filmed at her favorite locations in her native Chicago. Hudson also visited family members, friends and other childhood influences during the broadcast. On January 22, 2010, Hudson appeared on the telethon, Hope for Haiti Now, a global benefit for earthquake relief performing The Beatles, Let It Be. The telecast generated $61 million in donations as of January 26, 2010. Also, that year, Hudson recorded the song, One Shining Moment, for the 2010 NCAA Men's Division I basketball tournament. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?